Hi guys, welcome to Dr. X tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to make an accordion in Webflow. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's dive right in. Let's begin with going to our web browser and go to webflow.com. And in this video, we will be learning how you'll be able to create a accordion like this one. This is very helpful, especially on your website when you are trying to write a page for FAQs. So all you have to do is go to your dashboard, create a new site. You can start with a blank page. From here, what you need to do is to click on this plus icon right here and add a section. Once you've added a section, what you'll need to do is add a div block. And once you have a div block on the page right here, is that you need to add a padding so that here the div block that we've added into our section would be offset from the left side and the top part of the web page that we are creating right here so when it's done we will be um, creating or adding a heading we can use what type of text here we can even modify the font text as well so let's just type in accordion for this once we have the heading for our accordion we will be starting to create the boxes for the FAQs or the questions. So we will add another dev block within the dev block. And then here on the right side panel of the screen under style indicator, we can rename the dev block into accordion wrapper. So this is the basis or this is the dev block that will enclose all the informations for that specific part of the accordion. So from here, we need to set up the width and for the borders, we need to have all of the borders surrounding the div block that we've created. Now that we have the div or the accordion wrapper, the next thing that we will do is we need to make sure that it would be rectangular so we can add a, a margin right here. So let's add 20 padding for all sides. So you can simply click on that div block and then go to the right side panel where there's a spacing and that's where you'll be able to adjust the padding. So here, now that we have added padding into the div block, we now have the div block too and we will be renaming this the accordion title. So this is where the main topic of that accordion would be placed. Then we will be adding a text. So like this, we just need to adjust that here. Then now that we have the title, the next thing that we will do is we will add an icon on the right side panel of this rectangle so that when we will be clicking on that button or on the box, that's an indication that there is something below or there's something that you can click on that would give you more information in it. So here, we just need to adjust that here on the right side panel, you'll be able to see layout. That's where you'll be able to adjust the alignment. And there you have it. Now that we have the div block too, that would be where we will be having the icon. So we can rename that icon right here. And here on the plus icon, we will be um, uploading an image, this image right here. You can actually upload any icons on the website or on a web page from Google. You can look for icons right there and then you can simply download and just delete the background. So now that we have the title, accordion title and the icon, next thing that we will do here is add another dev block within the accordion wrapper. So this dev block will be um, the indications or all the informations about the accordion title. So we have um, renamed the div block into accordion paragraph. So we just need to click on the elements right here and add a paragraph. So the words that I have chosen here is actually just the default ones. So you'll be able to 
just replace them later on once you have completed all the accordion details right here. So now that we have the accordion title, the accordion paragraph, and the accordion wrapper, the next thing that we will do here is we will be setting the interaction wherein when we will be clicking on the icon right here, it will open up to show the details or the paragraph underneath. So first thing that we will need to do is click on the accordion title here on the navigation or navigator, then click on the lightning icon right here and then click on element trigger. Click on the plus icon and then here you have the option and mouse click. So on the first click, we need to choose the scroll down a little we need to scroll down we need to click on hide and show for this let's just make sure we have that correct so start an animation rather so for the action we will click on start an animation and then we will have or click on the timed animation click on the plus icon and then we need to uh, click on the or rename the new anima um, animation right here and we have it open so click on the plus icon right here and simply choose hide and show and then we need to click on the paragraph or accordion paragraph here on the navigator the plus icon and then we need to choose hide and show for this so by the time we preview the accordion it will pop up or show us the information underneath so let's repeat that once again click on this animation right here there's some error that I'm encountering so let's just delete that and let's redo that once again click on the plus icon then with the new timed animation click on plus again and then we need to choose paragraph from the nav navigator first before we click on hide and show once we have the hide and show here at the display button right here we need to click on this first icon right there and then just click on done and on the second click still start, start an animation click on the plus icon and then click on the paragraph once again and then click on hide and show right here and then in this case for display we need to click on the eye with a slash in it so that it will be hidden so by the time we preview here you can see that when I click on the icon or the accordion title, it will show us the paragraph underneath. So that's basically it. how you will be able to multiply all of these accordion wrappers is that you can simply click on Control D on your keyboard and just click on the accordion wrapper and you'll be able to see that all of these accordions are functional so you can simply just replace all the details like from the accordion title you can replace the words you can replace the colors you can replace the informations from the paragraph as well so that's basically it. That's how you'll be able to make an accordion here in Webflow. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.